Hey, what is going on guys? It's Young here and today I'm back in your Fortnite video and in today's video I'm gonna give you guys some very good tips and tricks that you guys can use to help you improve your accuracy Hit a lot more headshots and just hit a lot more shots overall So if you guys are looking for some very good tips to improve your aim Definitely stay tuned in the video because I have three extremely good tips that you guys can use That's gonna help you improve your aim exponentially and real quick before we get into the video I have a V-Buck giveaway. I give away V-Bucks every single Single Friday. So if you guys would like to enter this giveaway and win some free V-Bucks, all you guys have to do is to drop a like on this video. Make sure you guys do subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you guys get notified for every single new upload and when I announce the winners every Friday. And lastly, make sure you guys put down your Xbox Gamer Tag, your PSN Gamer Tag, or Epic account down in the comment section below and you guys will be automatically entered into the giveaway. And lastly, if you guys like to support me in the item shop, all you guys have to do, go down to the bottom right, hit on supporter creator type of my creator code which is young humor and you guys will have me added and supported as a creator in the item shop and all right guys let's go right to the video all right so in this video i'm going to be giving you guys three tips that you guys can use to help improve your aim now some of these are going to be mistakes that i make personally that just cost me on my accuracy and just doesn't allow me to hit the shots that i should so these are going to be my three best tips for improving your aim so the first one that you guys definitely want to start doing and taking advantage of and this is something that i do make the mistake of a lot of the times in game so when you're in a game and you're going to take a shot on another player, you want to move as close as possible. So, so say for instance, in a game, you're from this distance on the other player, and then the other player you're going to shoot at is looking the other direction. What you want to do instead is you want to get as close as possible to the other player before you take a shot. Because once you take a shot, or yeah, the second you take a shot, the other player is going to react and start building. And the further away you are from the other player, the harder it is to hit your shots. So that's why if you're able to get a little bit closer before taking the first shot, that is something you guys definitely want to take advantage of. It's going to make a huge difference because even if you have really good aim, if a player is running from left to, the, from left to right from this distance here, even really good aim. Uh, players with you know have very good aim on control they're still gonna have a difficult time to hit that shot and even if they're very good at the same time you still have to worry about bloom so if you have bloom plus the far distance it's gonna be very difficult to hit and track players from that range so if possible every single time you want to get as close as you can to that player before you take shots and also another reason in why you'd want to do this is say in this example here if you get one shot in the other player and then you want to go push right away because obviously if you're shooting at a player you probably want to push them unless you're like a, you know a key bot player who just camps and boxes the entire game and just spams at everyone running by you know third parties them and then just camps in their box and doesn't push or even runs away but assuming that you're a good player at this game you're probably gonna take a shot and run at the other player and what can happen is if you challenge someone from this range as you can see it takes me a good I don't know, like seven or eight seconds just to run over to the other player. So even if you are able to hit a lot of damage from distance, what's going to happen is, is the other player is going to be getting off all of their minis. So even if you hit a player for a lot of damage from, from long ranges, a lot of the times before you even get to the other player, they're already going to have all the HP replenished. So you basically just wasted shots for no reason. And now they kind of have an advantage because they know exactly where you are. So you want to be as close as possible before you engage on the other player. Of course, if they're already looking at you or if they're turning around and you know that they'll see you, then of course you might as well just get off a couple shots. But if the other player doesn't see you, you want to take full advantage of that. And so the second thing that you guys should do that's going to help you hit a lot more shots is you only want to take shots when you have an advantage. So the most clear advantage in this game especially is going to be high ground. So unless you're, if you say you're in a build fight, you only really want to take shots when you have high ground on the other player and you're shooting down on them because that's going to allow you to get a lot more headshots and it's much easier to hit a player on low ground or who's running on low ground than someone who's up above you. So that's something you definitely want to do. And if you're not able to get high ground on the other player, so like I said, you want to always uh, use high ground and you only want to take shots from high ground when you have it. But say, in, for example, maybe you're a little bit lower on mats or you're just uh, you know against another really sweaty player who just keeps cranking up the sky limit 
which is pretty common. What I do instead is I box up. Now there's two different things I go for. Now the first one is gonna be something when someone's outside of your box, like right here. So they place a ramp and they're trying to you know, get an edit on your wall. So what I do every single time is I go for this edit here where I edit the top three corners because it is the most overpowered and best edit in the game because not only is it an edit that you can really take a full advantage of as far as a head glitch it also gives you that right hand advantage as well and a lot of times if players are just trying to mine in your box a lot of times they don't expect you to just go for the shot right away so that is something you guys want to try out and so the second thing that i do so if it's say in the, this example someone's on a ramp and you know this angle a lot of times they'll try to go for like an edit play or maybe they're just trying to ramp up above you so what i do instead is when I'm in my box and someone plays, places a ramp like that, I immediately place a cone on top and I box them in. Of course, if you play on a really low building sensitivity, it's going to be harder to do this fast. But this is a technique that I have gotten so many players with game after game with. So I pretty much just explained my entire strategy for this game is when I'm going against a player, I try to get higher ground and I really only take shots. I mean, there is occasions, but I pretty much only want to take shots that I have an advantage on that I have a high ground advantage, maybe I'm coming off of a right hand peak, any sort of advantage, that's the gunfight that I'm trying, or at least the shots that I'm trying to take, and say for example, I can't get high ground on the other player, I box up, and I either go for the right hand uh, top corner three edit, or if someone places a ramp facing, you know, towards the box, then what I do instead is I edit out, I cone them in, and then I go for a push right away. So the third thing that you guys want to do that's going to help you hit a lot more shots is going to be improving your editing speed. Now, how your edit speed is going to directly correlate on the shots that you're able to take, there's a few reasons in which if you improve your editing speed, your aim is going to substantially improve as well. And one example is going to be right here. So say you want to edit or go for it. Maybe you place a cone in a floor over the other player and you want to double edit. If you have a really like a too fast of a sensitivity, what can happen is your shots can be all over the place as soon as you finish off the edit. You are have to go for like a crazy flick shot just to hit the other player. Now say at the same situation you're too slow, what can happen is if you're too slow on the edit, so say you mess up the edit or you're too slow at it, a lot of the times the other player is going to be at the far side of the ramp because if you throw a cone over another player, it only takes them maybe a half a second to realize that you cone them and then they'll try to go for like a side jump or maybe go for a different play. So if you're able to quickly place your cone and floor above someone and then quickly edit it right away, most of the time you're going to catch that player off guard and you're going to have a much better angle and a much easier shot to hit on that player. So that's how improving your editing speed could substantially improve your accuracy as well because if you're very fast with your edits, most of the time you're going to have a better angle and a better shot on the other player because even if you're with the best, you have the best aim in the game, if you have a really tough angle angle to hit you're not you're not going to be as consistent as if, if you had a really good angle and a really easy way to have good angle shots on the other player is going to be by editing if you can improve your editing speed and be a very quick editor in this game and also a builder you're going to have much more opportunities and better angles on the other player and you're going to naturally be improving your accuracy because you don't have to go for a crazy flick shot and you don't have to have you know you have like the you know you see their like their left calf or you see like their left arm and you barely have any sort of shot on them and even if you hit them you're hitting them for like 20 damage so if you improve your editing speed i guarantee you're going to be hitting for a lot more damage and you're going to be hitting your shots a lot easier because you're going to have a much better angle on that player so with that being said, that's going to wrap it up for this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you guys liked it, make sure you guys do hit that like button. Make sure you guys do subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Hit the notification bell because I do stream every single day here on this channel at 4.30 Eastern Standard Time. And I do upload every single day. Actually, just starting this week, I'm not going to be posting videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I still will be streaming, so make sure you guys have that notification bell. Uh, turned on because I still will be streaming. I just won't be uploading the normal content like these videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays, but every other day is going to be the same. So with that being said, I appreciate you guys watching the video and all right guys, I'll see you next video.